somebody went completely completely insane in respect to the chocolate check this out is uh one two three four five I bought myself this here, you can see chocolate uh, I think you know what, I use this to take a bite, a little bite by little bite and drink a lot of water to increase the liquid and have one processed by the kidneys because for the kidneys I bought this in the mornings to drink maybe a liter and a half of water with uh, with what you see here and oatmeal I would do this to get the kidneys run work operate increase to a lot of liquid and then I would do other stuff but this here this is something else this is a uh, this grew into into quite a, uh, yeah. well, I mean, it's gonna come maybe handy over course of the time, but I do this when I need, according to my needs, basically is what I do. It's also the best thing you can use for depression. You can't beat chocolate, something like this to calm you down and go and do about other stuff yeah because this is what they forced me into this was my life basically was depression when i was like really the age when i was three years old psychiatrists and psychologists told me in the city of the novo mesto imagine i became stressed out like a mouse when i was three years old because of this MK Ultra barbarism, barbaric things, violence that went on. Uh, it was so traumatic. It was so terrible. Uh, the least, the most resistance of all the little babies, I was the one. I will never forget this. I was the one. It was other babies that that they just completely lost themselves totally they were destroyed psychologically but i was the most resistant one and i lasted without any kind of anything maybe i endured about a year and a half maybe well opposed to other babies they would last about maybe Maybe month, maybe two months. You, you are the most resistant babies to this shit that went on would last maybe about I don't know if anybody maybe exclusively two babies. It was other babies subjected to MK Ultra. I was I will not lie to you six months. If you did the six months like a baby, subjected to the MK Ultra violence, that was ultra violence. You did outstanding. I will tell you the truth. You did outstanding if you did. They already rated you as as uh, something different. But I went on without absolutely anything, without food, without nothing, for like a year and a half. And they couldn't, they still couldn't do anything. And then they started to do really the stuff that cause anybody would cause a nervous breakdown. And it was these sessions and they told me, it might have been not at, at age three, at age four for 100%, it was at age four. They told me, we have two things the mother is going to give you. One is sweets, sweets. At that time, I did not know much about the sweets. At that time, um, I, um, how can I say, 
I, I tried sweets, but I didn't know much about the sweets. I know the sweet, the mother gave me sweets, but I didn't know much about sweets. I didn't even get any sweets. By that time, by age four, I would barely know about sweets. My, my mother said, oh, that's something I already gave you. Maybe twice that I tried. And it was a chocolate. I wasn't crazy about it. Uh, I did recognize the taste of the chocolate. Because my mother told me uh, what exactly we were talking about. Uh, I was capable, when she mentioned to me, I should say, I was capable to relate to that stuff. I was capable to relate to that stuff. But until then, I tried maybe chocolate sweet stuff twice in my life. That was like age four. This is the way it is. I remember absolutely everything. And they told me, we have this here. You're going to have to be very careful because the weight will explode to you if you will exaggerate. And then we have some other stuff. And those, I think, were injections, uh, antidepressants. That, if we give it to you, this is the way it was at age four. They talked to me at age four like I would be fucking 30, 40 years old. This is MK Ultra. There's no age uh, uh, in MK Ultra. In MK Ultra, they talk to you when you're a baby, like you're 30, 40 years old, not like 20. Shit, it's like you know the fucking life already. Like you lived your life. I mean, like fucking. If I would talk like this to somebody, fuck, I hope I would not come across the person that is less than 30 years old. You understand? And they told me we give that second thing, uh, it will destroy you. Uh, most likely, everybody, that's like the worst thing. So I felt like a baby. I was just chocolate far from experiencing total disaster. And they did give me examples of some kids that were completely fucked up, obese, and totally broken. It was like this. And... I watched as I went along. I I did stone myself with this shit. At age, I don't know, I became sturdy. I, I started to gain fat because the stuff they did to me required this shit. Literally. So they started to change my... They, they, were start, they started to kill me in every possible way. They, they were playing with... They were playing with, this isn't social engineering, you understand, this is no fucking social engineering. That kind of stuff is not a social engineering. That kind of stuff, the stuff I'm talking to you about is just a way to kill somebody. So, I want you to understand this shit. The growth hormone injections occasionally given or mainly used to play with something that killed growth hormone not to slow one down but literally I think I'm afraid to kill one because they wanted me to be I don't know maybe even probably I would say mentally retarded you can hear me a voice like a normal voice. Uh, when my voice is normal, it reminds the one of a uh, female, actually. You have no fucking idea what these people did to me. When it comes to penis, uh, it measures the one in China. It's simple as this.
and I'm a quite a big guy. I know that is. Um, um, you, you, I could say, yeah, I have an Asian penis. Uh, but this is what they did with this kind of stupid shit. This is what they were doing to me. This is what they have done to me. I don't know how I would explain these things. As for the life, I didn't even have one. I'm 52 years old. And this shit is really bad for you. And also good for you if you like to sweet yourself. But if you have a problem with the kidneys, that's not what you want.